Hello everyone, it's poetry time. Time to learn our poems to perform. So, what's the first thing we need to do? The first thing we need to do is to get mom to choose us a poem. Now remember your poems don't have to be too long, but please choose a poem that you like. Don't choose one that you don't like, otherwise you're not going to do it very well. The second thing is when we learn our words, we're going to try and not learn the words as if the poem is a song. I don't want the poem to sound like this. Da 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 because it becomes a little bit boring. So for example, if you had a poem about a spider like this, I had a little spider, I'm very fond of him. He climbs onto my shoulder and then onto my chin. It would be much, much better if you tried it a bit like this. I had a little spider. I had a little spider. Oh, I'm very fond of him. He climbs onto my shoulder and then onto my chin. So, I think you might have been able to notice that sometimes I had little pauses. I'd stop and then carry on. Sometimes I would be soft, sometimes I would be loud, and I really looked like I was thinking about my little spider. So I had to imagine in my head what that spider was doing, and I could use my facial expression, and I used gesture. That means I used my hands to tell the story. Now, you don't have to use too many gestures. You don't have to do a gesture for every single word like I had a little spider okay so you would go I had a little spider I was very fond of him he climbed onto my shoulder and then onto my chin okay so maybe one gesture in a line or one gesture every second line now once you've got your poem you need to Practice, practice, practice. Get mom to say a line for you and then you're going to repeat it after her. Keep doing that until you can do it without mom helping you at all. Then go to your mirror and practice in front of the mirror and see if you find yourself fun. If you're not finding yourself fun, if you're looking very boring and very glum, then the audience aren't going to find you fun at all. So. You're going to choose your poem, then you're going to get mom to help you learn it, and I don't want you to learn it in a sing-song fashion. Not da 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 Rather have some expression, use your hands a little bit, and maybe a couple of actions. Now, one of the most important things is to speak clearly. Move your lips. Don't just do this with your lips. Otherwise, people can't hear you. So really move your lips so that people can hear you and speak slowly so that the audience has got time to listen to the words you've got to say because that is what you want. You want your audience to hear the words of your beautiful poem. So have fun and let's get started with our poetry. Poetry.